Lassa de Sella was a Mexican-American singer and songwriter who was raised in Mexico and the United States. She was born in 1972 in the Catskills town of Big Indian, New York. The daughter of Alejandro de Sala, a Mexican-born literature and Spanish professor, and New York-born Alexandra Karam, actress and writer. When Lassa was two months old, her family moved to Guadalajara, Mexico, and lived there for four years. They then moved to Tivoli, New York, for two years. Then, another four years in Baja, California, Mexico, before moving to San Francisco. At St. John's College in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where she also performed with the swing band for eight months. As a child, she was educated by correspondence school because she lived mostly in trailer parks. Her earliest musical influences were Mexican artists such as Cuco Sanchez. And Chevala Vargas, who would later want to collaborate with Lassa. De amor y de Other influences included Maria Callas, Victor Yara, and Jacques Brel, but it was until she saw a documentary film on Billie Holiday that she decided to sing professionally. DeSella went to Montreal in 1991 to visit her sisters, then studied at the National Circus School. Her sisters worked in a European circus. She decided to stay at Montreal. There is where she met guitarist Yves de Rosaires. They decided to work with singer Jean Leloup. De Rosaires was impressed with the Mexican music she played for him. So both decided to perform traditional Mexican music at the local clubs. After two years, they began composing. The first song was Floricanto, a Spanish translation of the Aztec word for poetry which has lyrics based upon an Aztec poem. I wrote that song with my father, hmm. and uh, he had shown me uh, an Aztec poem. And Aztec poetry is all about this conflict that the heart goes through because of loving life and finding life so beautiful and yet knowing that we are, um, that we are not immortal. Her debut album, La Llorona, after the legendary Aztec figure, is a Spanish-sung hybrid of traditional Mexican ranchera and Eastern European klezmer. It was released on February 4, 1997. The album was a success. She won a Quebec Felix Award in Canada for Best World Music Artist from Quebec in 1997 and a Canadian Juno Award for Best Global Artist in 1998. The album was certified platinum in Canada. By 2003, it had sold 120,000 units in Canada, 330,000 in France, and 30,000 in the U.S. Me acerco al fuego que todo lo que la luz de tu cara, la luz de tu cuerpo. After several years on Lilith Fair tour, she moved to France in 1999, where she joined her sisters on a troupe show called La Maison Autour. She returned to Montreal to record her second album, The Living Road, which was released in 2003 with songs in English, French, and Spanish. BBC Radio 3 named her the Best World Musician Artist of the Americas, one of the categories of the 2005 World Music Awards. For me, music is a way to break the solitude and to show to yourself and to others that we are together, that we live all the same thing, that we are not alone with our own things. Puis maintenant, quand je chante, quand je suis sur scène, je suis beaucoup dans, dans ça, dans le fait de me sentir euh, transparente. After several collaborations with several artists, Lassa's third album, Lassa, was released in April of 2009. <coughs> 
In the years before her career was cut short, the Mexican-American singer Lassa de Sela sold a million records. Many kinds of people fell in love with her music, and especially her voice. Lassa de Sela died after a two-year battle with cancer at the age of 37. But soon before released, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. She canceled the world tour because of her illness. Sadly, after 21 months fighting cancer, she passed away at her home in Montreal on January 1st, 2010.